I'm planning to build new mobile app, but I will need motorcycle for inspiration, so I'm going to rent one. This one could be next one to try, but yeah, today's ride is not this baggy mode, but this nice small boy. Where are my brakes? Here we have Pagrezians. Actually, I was living in this neighborhood in my childhood. There we have a shitload of small street, and then there was one big highway was built. And so all the short streets are just finishing up, basically just cut off by this highway. And there are plenty of like roads where you can't drive by car, but you kind of can to get around by motorcycle or moped. Back in childhood we drive at moto mopeds, so you can just basically go somewhere <laughs> that side, somewhere up, and you are on that highway already. You can just drive a little bit on that and then jump off from it on the next small street. And if some bad guys follow you, you can avoid them. I'm not saying that someone should run from cops, do not get me wrong. <laughs> and for record, I had my mopeds rider license back in childhood, so I was legal rider and also no, like how I have my motorcycle riding license and yeah, so I'll be safe. <laughs> Okay, I will ride a little bit around in the, on smaller streets to get used to this motorcycle, but it feels good. I like it. Almost like an off-road. <laughs> okay, it's not so bad. Oh, it's doing well. It's quite fast bike, actually. So I'm, I'm not comfortable enough to go really fast, but we are hitting speed limits here in the city at the moment. Probably this is not a bike for long trips, but it's quite comfortable city bike. Okay, traffic, so I don't know. I do not feel comfortable to split the lines yet. Maybe I will go to the small streets. So legally, I could drive in between lines here. That's totally allowed here in Latvia. But I'm not feeling comfortable enough on the bike yet to do that. Do not forget, this is my first ride alone without instructor. And uh, yeah, I didn't ride since <laughs> my childhood on mopeds. I'm not saying I'm nervous, nervous, but I'm playing safe. Here it is safe to go, right? Are you okay? If I will go here, that will be dumb to wait into the traffic for this. Okay. By the way, near here is the first 
job first place where I was working here probably yeah it's right here yeah it was completely changed because it was I don't know 20 plus years ago basically I was working as a carpenter here I was studying studying in uh, high school and learning kind of how to be a carpenter and basically there was small factory small coffin factory and I was making coffins here <laughs> one summer so that was why that was my first proper job as a carpenter after that I was working in constructions then I spent my 20s in army and then in police and uh, that's kind of fun fact that you kind of think that you should pick one prophecy and stick with it forever but that's not even close to the truth because I was carpenter then I was in army and in police then I decided to get my computer science degree got that and uh, okay let's go carefully here I hope you are not mad on me so I got my computer science degree I got job in tech in my 30s spent 30s here kind of made a career <laughs> become a head of products and uh, then I decided ah, whatever I don't like that and in my and in my 40s I started switched careers to become iOS developer started freelancing and starting to build my own applications so you know the rest and now in my 50s I am learning how to how to ride a bike and kind of becoming a content creator influencer and all that stuff so this part of the city I was uh, living here until let's say 20s when I went to the army so it's nice and actually it looks better already than in my childhood because I don't know of course my childhood was <laughs> Soviet Union everyone was poor and so on now life definitely is kind of better everyone has more money we have nicer cars nicer buildings but now I am living in the city center just because it's kind of more fun to live there cool I am already one of the brotherhood <laughs> that motorcycle rider waved to me so nice oh there is another motorcycle rider on the red light oh good it's green I'm kind of scared I don't know what I should what should I do if I'm kind of staying next to another motorcycle rider should I say hi should I say nice bike should I ask anything I have no idea so yeah what is the idea of the app actually <laughs> I wanted to buy a motorcycle this summer but yeah let's say we had hard negotiations with my wife and at the end we agreed that I will not buy a motorcycle yet I will rent motorcycles this summer and if I will fall and injure myself <laughs> she will not come to visit me in the hospital <laughs> the trick is I am renting motorcycles this summer I have a list of motorcycles I would like to rent this summer currently that is just spreadsheet and uh, in this spreadsheet I have listed all the motorcycles what I can and would like to rent where they are available how much they cost and so on 
And also I would like to kind of write down some notes which motorcycle I liked the best, which motorcycle was amazing, which motorcycle was bad, which one I would like to buy maybe. I have my Excel sheet and it's kind of working, but that could be way, way better if I have application for that and I have record that all that I'm doing on those motorcycles on the go. So hopefully I'll start working on this application this week. At least I will do research. I will take a look on what is what is available in the market because no doubt there are apps like this in the market. It's not something crazy unique. Yeah, I don't know yet. Will I build it or not? But basically that is the current day for the app. So plan for today is to go back home, okay, work on freelance stuff first. Please do not hit me, thank you. Work on freelance stuff first, then I am looking what are alternatives in the market. Do we have anything similar? Of course we have. And then I will sketch user interface of what I would like to see. Maybe we will make database as well, some structures and so on. And yeah, this currently is my new neighborhood. That's where I am living now. Yeah, you can easy can do power wheelies on this thing. I'm not brave enough to try that on a rented bike, especially in the city. Actually, it's very cool engine for riding like this. Okay, and we will park right here. Yeah, it's definitely great, really great beginner's bike. I am a beginner and this is a great bike for me. Uh, we'll see how the bike feels on the highway. I will go to the Algova. We'll see how that feels when you are out on the highway on this bike. But in city, 400 cc is plenty. You don't really need much more. And yeah, you really can drive on 400 cc fast enough to lose your driver's license. <laughs> and it is fast enough to get you, I don't know, in trouble as well. Any trouble, whatever trouble you can imagine on motorcycle. And you can do wheelies on it. That first, that first uh, gear is ooh, powerful, even second. And I think it is doable to do power wheelie on it in first gear. I'm not trying to do that, I don't know how to do that. I'm not good enough to try really, but I just feel the power. It's definitely possible. And I will say that Duke is a little bit more fun to ride, more fun to ride than Triumph 400s. X scramble. I don't know. Probably I should kind of compare them side to side one more time and I'm riding on this bike for a few hours already and I ride it on the Triumph for maybe 30 minutes but this one definitely is way more fun.
Okay, I'm definitely already late from my lunch break. Well, probably this should be third gear, not fourth. Rocky, beginner's mistakes. Whatever. Okay, let's go here carefully. Yeah, it's just flying. Oh my gosh. Ooh. It's really easy to lose your driver's license on this bike. I should be more careful with it. 